Hey guys, TBL here. I'm back again at long last with a quick update video for you guys. So first things first, it has been a crazy week all around, and I mean that in more ways than one. I've been kind of sick for a little bit, you can probably hear it in my voice. YouTube seems to have all but lost its mind again. And we are almost a week away from Christmas, can you believe how time flies? Plus the VGX, that happened, right? Although I'm fairly certain that that's probably the one thing that everyone's trying to forget. But anyway, this video is just going to serve as kind of a basic news update on what's going on with uh, me, my channel, and I guess YouTube as a whole. But first things first, what you are seeing is an uh, old recording actually. It's about a week or two old. It is, uh, since I haven't been able to play the game very effectively, you know, being sick and all, I just decided to pick an uh, old gameplay I was looking at the other day. It's just a basic game of domination on the map Octane. Utilizing a loadout I uh, described to you guys in one of my previous videos. It's basically the SA-805 with a semi-automatic fire on it. And a red dot sight for, you know, better aiming measures. That's still pretty much my favorite assault rifle setup. But anyways, I do wind up getting a helo pilot in this gameplay, so I hope you guys enjoy seeing that. But now I suppose it's about time I explain to you guys what's been going on with the channel and why I haven't had a video out within the past week. Well, the basic answer is I wound up getting pretty sick on Monday. I'm not quite sure what it was. I woke up with a massive headache and it pretty much lasted me all day. I was kind of hoping it would just stop there, but uh, on around Tuesday I woke up and I really just couldn't even get out of bed. It was, uh, it was really bad. The headache was gone, but I had absolutely no energy, and I couldn't stand up for more than a couple of minutes without feeling like I had to throw up. It was super queasy, and uh, just definitely not in a good state from about ta, Tuesday to Thursday. So most of Tuesday, I was pretty much stuck in bed until I had myself a good old bowl of chicken noodle soup and some uh, hot tea. That gave me a little bit of strength so I could get up and go to work, because I still can't skip out on that. I do have a real-life job. And it's a job in shipping, no less, so there was definitely no way, uh, no way I could skip out on that. I'm basically Santa this time of year. So anyway, like I said, by about Thursday and Friday, I started feeling a little bit more like my old self. Not quite 100%. I'm feeling better today. It's uh, Saturday right now, but um, still don't quite feel backed up to 100%, but I'm a lot better than I was during the week. I'm thankful for that. But again, I'm hoping to be back in fighting form soon so I can get back to making a ton of videos for you guys. I've seen that i got quite a few requests up on the uh, channel now, so I'm going to try to fill those out for you. Don't think I forgot about you. They should be on the way soon. Anyway, I think that about wraps up why exactly the channel's been so quiet for the last week. If you've got any other questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. But without dilly-dallying too much longer, I want to jump to a real issue that's been going on with YouTube as of late. Now I'm sure by now everyone's heard of or even felt the repercussions of YouTube's uh, stricter copyright policy implementations. They've gone out in waves over the past week and it's really affected just about every single gaming channel out there. Now for those of you who don't know, uh, YouTube basically uses an automated system to scan uploaded videos to see if they line up with uh, or rather contain copyrighted material within their database. Now I've noticed a lot of confusion and misinformation in uh, comments and videos all over YouTube because as I said this has been a big issue and a ton of gaming channels and non-gaming channels have been covering it over the past week. Comments ranging from, oh YouTube's watching every video you upload now, or if you upload any kind of gaming video it's immediately going to get flagged. Neither of which are very accurate. The problem is actually much more pervasive as it uh, applies to videos you've uploaded in the past as well. But there are a few key things that you have to take note of. First of all, uh, what the ones who seem to be affected the most out of this are uh, those who are partnered with larger networks, MCNs. Groups like Machinima, Social Blade, The Gaming Network. They seem to be the heaviest hit by this, along with uh, the really, really large gamer channels. Guys like Total Biscuit, uh, PewDiePie, uh, T. Martin, names like those. However, that of course does not mean that the small, that smaller gaming channels haven't been affected. Even I've had a couple of videos taken down through this. Or rather, I should say, they've had content ID matches placed on them. But I think it's important to note that this isn't the first time this kind of thing has happened. Most of the older YouTubers out there can probably recall that when Google first took over YouTube, and uh, 
implemented the content ID system and kind of strengthened the copyright rules, we had this exact same incident. We had a ton, basically a wave of content ID matches going out and an even bigger wave of uh, content ID fraud back in the day because it used to be a lot easier to just make a false claim on a video and get that video taken down. It was a real problem back in the day. But basically this time around, gaming videos are getting flagged for containing some small piece of copyrighted uh, material. In most cases, this uh, what your video is going to be flagged for is music, background music. The only time an actual video will uh, match up with the content ID system is usually when it's a cutscene. If you've got like a cutscene in your video, then that might match up with what YouTube has in its database for a specific game. But for the most part, in most of the cases, it's going to be the music that plays. And usually that music will be in YouTube's content ID system under the game developer's name or maybe the artist's name or some other name, but it's usually what'll get your video flagged. I would say nine times out of ten. Now immediately, you can see how that would be a big problem. Say you're playing a game, you got a gameplay going, and a 10 second audio clip plays in the background, and that audio clip registers with YouTube's content ID system. Well, now your entire video is flagged as matching third party content, and if you did have monetization enabled on it, you lose that monetization. Any money you make from that video will now go to whoever the third party claimant was. Even if they don't actually have the rights to whatever it is the content ID system says they do. So anyway, that's a super simple way of explaining the entire situation, and it's a giant can of worms to be sure. But knowing that it's the music that generally gets you in trouble with this system, you can find a couple of ways around it, and I'll tell you one quick one. The first and easiest way is to always have commentary. Talk over your videos and make sure you lower the audio for your videos in whatever video editing program you use. You want to make sure that your voice comes in loud and clear over the background noise and the music. Another better way to do it is to mute entirely or at least lower the volume on those parts of your video where there actually is background music playing. For example, if you're playing a Call of Duty game, making a gameplay video for that, it's pretty simple. Uh, Call of Duty games generally play about a 10 second musical clip at the beginning and at the end of every single match. So basically during those two intervals, lower the audio and uh, you should just be good after that. If you want, you can just completely mute those clips and uh, you shouldn't really have to worry too much. Although Call of Duty games really aren't that bad. You don't really get too many content ID matches since every gameplay is different. It's kind of hard to match it up to an individual system that looks for basically audio matches and very seldom finds a way to match videos. So anyway, you probably won't ever have too many problems with a Call of Duty game. But say you're doing a Let's Play of a Super Mario game or a Zelda game. Those games are very heavily, they very heavily feature music. And it's going to be very difficult to get around this crazy new super strict system when you're playing very cinematic, very musically based games like that. But really, we've only scratched the surface of why this is such a bad thing for gaming channels. It's but if you'd like more information on what's going on with all of this crazy content ID stuff, check the description box below. I'll leave a bunch of links to a couple of videos that'll do a bit more of an in-depth job explaining it. And while this is the end of this video, rest assured, it is certainly not the end of my channel. I am going to continue making videos for you guys. I've been through content ID storms before, and I'll make it through this one. And I'm sure all of you will too. So anyways, thanks for sticking around, guys. I really appreciate it. You better bet I'm going to have more videos up for you soon. As always, I am the Black Link. Stay frosty.